This is the STL Medical Weight Loss Radio Show. With Dr. Joe, no more talking, let's go. Welcome back to the STL Medical Weight Loss Radio Show. I'm your host, Dr. Molaski, and I have my co-host here, Drew Shelton. We got an exciting show today. We have a patient here, Joanne, and she wants to share a little bit about her experience on the trizepatide. Joanne? Hi, Dr. Joe, and uh, thanks for inviting me. Yes, today because, we're happy to have you. Yeah, I'd like to tell people about what I experienced. And yep. hello, Drew, Dr. Drew. Oh, hey, yes, Dr. here I am. Dr. <laughs> Drew, I love it. That's his show name. Um, so, to start with, over the past couple of, couple of years, I've gained about 20 pounds, and that's on top of a few more pounds that I had gained mm-hmm. previously from taking prednisone and um, uh, other medications, and then I got an lo- ongoing thyroid problem. So it's really hard for me to lose weight. It's really hard for me to um, get it off once I get it on, and at my age, which is it takes even longer as you get older. So when you're five foot and a half of an inch, any kind of that type of weight gain really does a number on your body, your joints, your cholesterol, your blood sugar. And um, so my goal was, wasn't just to to look good, although, you know, I do look good in spite of it. Um, I think that, you know, getting into a healthy form So as I age, I don't have to visit the doctor as much, Mm -hmm. keep as healthy and as active as long as I can. So that's my goal. Yeah, and you know, she talked to me early on in our consultation, hey, you know, I'm concerned about my labs. You know, her cholesterol was increasing. She was noticing that her blood sugars were increasing. She just wasn't happy with it. And you know, healing from the, or getting healthy from the inside out, Guys, you know, your metabolism, you only get one life. And so looking at, you know, Joanne's situation, she wanted to get healthy and she wanted to get healthy now. She didn't want to wait until she was, you know, in the obese category, feeling bad, having, you know, the constellation of metabolic syndrome to where she's developing, you know, high blood pressure, diabetes. So she got on a handle on her health early on. And that's what I recommend to my folks is, you know, start today, start today. When, if you, if you have it running in your family, the genetics, for you know, diabetes, heart failure, uh, stroke, whatever it may be, why why not start today? You know, that's what I love. I mean, you say obese, you know. So I was in that obese category. I weighed three eighty. Mm-hmm. Joanne and I started this back in April. I'm close to forty pounds down now. Yep. So I'm, I'm trying to avoid that category, right? Yeah. And, and Joanne, I would say you're not even in that category, uh, you know, because I mean, you, you, like you said, you look great, and but that's why I love this this program because. Some people, some patients just need that five or 10 pounds to get their life back on track, and that can be this program for you. Yeah, and what I love about it too is, is, you know, we talked about this earlier, but, you know, some patients, they can start developing the early uh, signs and symptoms of metabolic syndrome, which is ex- excess abdominal weight, their blood sugars start elevating, they start developing high blood pressure, their cholesterol gets out of whack. And in Joanne's case, she started developing that, and she's like, "Hey, I don't, I don't want to get this, this, you know, syndrome to where I'm now a diabetic. I have high blood pressure." She wanted to get it on a handle on her health now, and you know, we have clients that even if it's five to ten to twenty pounds, we have something for you. Yeah. And so, Joanne, right. um, let us know a little bit about, you know, we talked about, you know, the, our, our consultation that we had, but. You know, doing the injections. Tell us a little about that. Is that something that's hard, or gives? No. And actually, you were so gracious to meet me here yeah. because I was a little bit uh, uh, clumsy with trying yeah. to figure out how to hold the bottle. So you actually met me here. You showed me how to do it, mm-hmm. and it's no issue at all. It's, yeah. it's you don't even it feel it. No, I don't. I don't feel anything. I get no. Like it doesn't hurt, it doesn't even feel yeah. it. I just inject it into my stomach most of the yeah. time. I don't do it in my arms, but it's so easy. It's not scary. And when I was thinking, oh my God, what, you know, is that going to hurt? It could be, yeah. when people, some people have a fear of needles, yeah. throw it out there. Yeah. yeah. But this is, I mean, this is very fine baby needle. I mean, I don't even know what the right term would be, but you don't feel it. It's not even a pinch. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's just a, it's a quick little a poke and then. It's done, whether it be the stomach, sometimes I do the, the thighs, yeah. you can do your arms, you can do the, you, you can even do the backside. 
it, it doesn't matter really i think where you do it it's just a matter of yeah. a, a fatty area and get yeah, the injection easy. in and i used to watch my grandmother give my grandfather uh his diabetic shot twice yeah. a day and i always thought who would i have to give me the shot well i can do it myself sure. it's yeah. that easy yeah. and so when you started the medication when did you mm -hmm. start feeling that like wow, I, I'm starting to feel full, or I'm, I'm noticing things are changing for me. Um, well, actually, it was the first shot, and I was on a low dose because yeah. I said I want to take it slow. I don't want to lose, you know, uh, I just wanted to lose about a pound a week. Yeah. And um, so that's what I've been doing, anywhere from three quarters to a pound a week. Take it slow and easy. I started feeling full on that first shot. Okay. I had a little bit of indigestion, but that's yeah. gone away like immediately. Uh, I never feel nauseous. I never feel sick. I just give myself the shot. I the one thing it's done is it's really taking uh, my desire away to drink alcohol. Yes. Not that I had a big desire anyway. I wasn't a big drinker, but it's like. I don't even need to have a drink yeah. socially if I don't want to. Whereas, you know, sometimes you're a little bit nervous and you'll think, oh, I'd like a glass of wine mm -hmm. just to feel a little less nervous. I don't even need to have a glass of wine. But I do, I have like, now I have a shot glass that I use. Yeah. I drink. <laughs> and what's really interesting, they are studying this medication for, you know, alcohol, um, you know, people that recovery. Uh, recovery and alcohol addiction. And what's interesting is the craving centers food cravings, mm -hmm. drug cravings. We have craving centers in our in our brain and this medication really blunts the craving for alcohol. So yeah. that would be I why and, it it, and actually your taste for alcohol and even sometimes uh, caffeine. So what we're seeing is not only the weight loss, but we're seeing it kind of changes your habits in a sense of... I, I have to agree with that. Yeah. It's changed my habits because I've I heard you say once that you were a foodie Oh, yes. I'm a foodie, but I'm not a big eater. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm kind of a not picky eater, but I don't eat a lot. Yep. And that's what's disturbing because it's like, oh my God, you know. But I eat what I want. Mm -hmm. I'm not obsessed with food. You feel in control, right? Yeah, I just feel like, you know, okay, I have a meal in the morning, usually a small meal, and then I wait until uh dinner and then i have dinner i don't even want to snack in between if i do it's just a little bit of a something yeah, yeah. It, it's a yeah. game changer the, the, the caffeine the sweets you're w with this program it's education and medication we, we homer that home stress it every every week mm -hmm. it it literally does something i don't know what it is i'm not, I'm not really a doctor <laughs> you know <laughs> but i can just tell you uh if i have a caffeine drink it tastes awful if I wanted a, a sweet treat, I have a bite. I'm like, why did not even do that? It doesn't even taste good. I don't need it, don't want it. The intention, the mindset, that yeah. changes everything yeah. in this process. Uh, for me, my first shot, first two days I didn't really feel it, but by day three, you do. And for me personally, maybe because I'm a bigger dude, but like days three, four, five, I feel it the most. Okay. And then it kind of kind of wears off a little yeah, bit day I, six. And I almost need to do like every six day sure. instead of every seven days. Okay. I, I think to, every person's yeah. different. I think I really start, that kicks in around the second day for me. The first day is because I take it later in the day and mm -hmm. then I kind of go through the day and I wake up. And so it's that second day, um, second full day, where I start to feel like, yeah, I'm not even hungry. No. But I'm hoping that it changes after I'm off of this to where then my eating is already, you know, they say it takes about three weeks to get a new habit. Yep. So I'm hoping this is my new way yep. of doing things, my exactly. new habit. Let's and keep talking about it. For sure. Go yep. to break. Sounds good. Plug, yeah. your, plug your stuff though. Yeah, and guys, hey, if you're interested in getting on this program, getting uh, right with your health, please don't hesitate to book a appointment online stlmedweightloss.com or reach out at 636-628-6604. We're happy to help.